Are you struggling with type mismatches in your C++ code? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into the tricky world of signed versus unsigned types, especially when working with vectors and platform differences. I totally get it. Switching between 32-bit and 64-bit systems can expose some frustrating issues, especially when you're relying heavily on vectors and strings. It can feel like a minefield of errors. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user is facing issues with functions like stdmin and stdmax due to type mismatches between unsigned integers and vector size types. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's happening here? The user is trying to return the size of a vector using a 32-bit unsigned integer, but on some platforms, vector size type is an 8-byte number. This mismatch can lead to those pesky errors and stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a classic workaround that can save you from these types of headaches in the future. To address the user's issue with type mismatches, the first step is to understand the difference between vector size type and the unsigned integers being used. The user should consider using vector size type for consistency across platforms. Next, the user should modify the function signatures to accept vector size type instead of uint32t. This will help prevent implicit conversion issues and maintain type safety. Now, when using functions like stdmin or stdmax, the user should ensure that both parameters are of the same type. This can be achieved by casting the parameters to vector size type. Finally, the user should test the application on both 32-bit and 64-bit systems to confirm that the changes resolve the issues. This will help ensure that the application behaves consistently across platforms. Fun fact, did you know that C++ was first developed in 1979? It has evolved a lot since then, but type issues like these still trip up even the most experienced developers. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. One alternative approach is to explicitly specify the type when using function templates like stdmin. For example, you can write stdmin uint32t for myvec.size. This helps avoid type deduction issues. Another suggestion is to enable all compiler warnings related to signed versus unsigned comparisons. Using brace initialization can also help catch narrowing conversions as errors. If you prefer using 32-bit values, limit explicit conversions to a few places. Use static cast at API boundaries to keep your API clean and manageable. For a more flexible approach, consider using std size t, which is typically compatible with std vector size type. This can simplify your code. It's also noted that many developers advise against using unsigned types for sizes and indexes due to potential bugs from implicit conversions. Matching API types is crucial. Remember, using auto isn't always the best choice. Be cautious with loops and ensure you handle unsigned types correctly to avoid runtime errors. Lastly, always check for zero before dividing and ensure the subtrahend is smaller when subtracting with unsigned types to prevent bugs. Here's a pro tip. Always use the appropriate size type for your containers. This will save you from many headaches when switching between platforms. And there you have it. By understanding the differences between signed and unsigned types and using the right size types, you can avoid these frustrating issues. If you found this helpful, subscribe for more tips and tricks.